The Dornish are invading the Stormlands and the Lord Paramount of the Stormlands has sent out a great force of House Dondarrion and House Baratheon forces to face the United Dornish invaders. And there are many houses here today from the Dornish lands. We have House Ulla, we have House Martell, House Yorinwood and House Dane have rallied their banners to raid and ra raid and ravage the Stormlands. I, and yes, we are here with another Seven Kingdoms battle with uh, the Attila, which is the Attila mod for Game of Thrones. And uh, yeah, I do apologise, that's a little bit of a shaky intro, but this is uh, going to be an excellent battle, I am sure. We've got lots of great units here, and we don't often get to see these houses on the battlefield. And uh, I mean, yeah, like House of Yorinwood here, they look very cool. Got uh, some of the bright colours of House Ulla coming in behind. Look at them in their red and yellow. We've got a uh, House Dane here in their purple and grey. And we've got House Martell in their orange. If we can find them somewhere. But it does look like we're getting actually attacked already. I was not even paying attention. Um, but we are actually getting attacked. I'll go and take these guys out. Send them some spears over here. Uh, but we are uh, just about... Engaging just about now, so uh, I'm gonna put all my cavalry out there on that far side. And here we go, we've got some spears engaging over here. We'll get these guys engaged there. Here's House Martel. They're actually pulling out that engagement. Our troops are being ambushed. Our troops are being ambushed. Uh, I think they're. They're not really, but okay, fair enough. But yeah, I mean, the uh, engagement now with the cavalry is fully going on. You can see here. House Ulla getting uh, flanked round with his cavalry, with the uh, Baratheon Lance cavalry, and they're getting broken very effectively. And there they've all gone. So we'll, they'll reform the line. The spears here. They'll do their bit. Defend this flank to all costs as possible. And now it's kind of just a bit of a skirmish off going on. And we're actually losing the skirmish fight. I didn't. I just realised. Uh, but yeah, we'll better start actually giving some orders. Shoot these guys down. Thought you were on fire at will, but seems like they're just not firing. We've got more cavalry to face on that side. More lance cavalry. So I'm going to swing around my cavalry ever so slightly. We've got spears here, but I mean, yeah, the Baratheons look awesome. Um, they do have some of the best looking cavernists. I'm going to move forward the main infantry line as well, the Dondarians. The Don Darians can go into battle now. And we've got the uh, Baratheon main line in behind that as well. Well, not the main line, but some of their infantry. And we'll send them into combat. Send them in. They can go and uh, go and die for their house. For their house. Might as well charge in. They're actually getting focused down at these, uh, at these guys. Could be a pretty bloody one. Force the cavalry around. I've got the cavalry advantage on this side, which we should really take advantage of as well. Here comes some infantry by the looks of it. Oh, they've already clashed. Didn't even realize that. That's good. Um, looks like we're going to have some sort of an infantry clash here. Let's have a look at this. We've got House, uh, House Ulla coming up here to face the Dondarians. And in they go. And the little, look at that, already breaking before they even get to the front line. That's brutal. Uh, my cavalry needs to charge in and do some damage there then. Force these guys back. But we are actually having a real, real issue actually here, I'm just realizing. Go around. Yeah, look at that Dondarian force is just breaking instantly. Well, let's bring up the uh, last reserves. We've got Beric Dondarian leading uh, the Baratheon forces today. And, uh, well, we're going to need every single one of these guys. There's the cavalry charge here. We've got the Baratheons going in. Taking on the uh, 
Martels, and I mean, that's a... Looking pretty brutal. Should win that fight. Should, I say. Send forward these last few troops here. We've got halberdiers and pikes at the back as well. We need to send them in. We've got archers here, I think, that need to go into combat. I don't know. These might be archers. They might not be. Yeah, this is a bloody fight going on down here. It's just absolute chaos. House Dane facing House on Darren. Two purple colored houses. So the cavalry is one on this side. That's not good. We've got Baratheon cavalry all the way out there. I hadn't even realized. See a charge here. We've got Baratheon cavalry going into the back of the Martels. Run these men down. Excellent. Excellent. You kill all of them. Go into the next line. Looks like they're trying to fall back with Dornish. They're not going to get a chance. Oberyn Martel's in there, I can see. And Dundarian can come up a little bit. He can support. Didn't realize we had any hidden units left. But yes, I mean, you can see all the bloody engagement going on down there. But I mean, yeah, the Dornish would often raid across, uh, across the Stormlands and do a lot of damage there. So, I mean, it's no surprise. And uh, I mean, there's Baratheon troops deep in the enemy lines here. It's still a close fight. Still a very close fight. They've got pikes here. Other pikemen. Need to get them in combat against these uh, Baratheon Cav. Definitely do we're getting Beric on Darren to do some more damage. I mean we've got cavalry here that we could use as well, mobilize his cavalry. Winning on this flank here quite decisively, but they're gonna get a nasty charge here at the Baratheons. Oh yeah, it's not good, it's not good. I mean, we've got uh got Halberdiers coming up now from the the Dondarians. So they should help. House Dondarian pledges itself to House Baratheon. The pikes here of the Brathians poking these other troops in the back. It's a brutal way to go. Looks like the cavalry has mainly been routed for the uh, Baratheons, which is not a good sign. Our forces, have found their courage. Back to the fight. Our forces have found their courage, though, which is good. Apparently, they found their courage. Oh, we've still got some fairly healthy cavalry here. We can definitely do with getting rid of that. We're barely holding on this other flank, but we're uh, doing a nice job here. Like, this flank over this side is, like, really struggling, I'd say. But it does look glorious. 
And we just got con- Oh, look at that. Oberyn Martell's breaking. And uh, Beric Dandarin's been focused on, I just realized. Beric Dondarrion was getting focused on that entire time and I hadn't even realized. Wouldn't be surprised if he was dead. But, there you go, their general is dead. Excellent. So, I mean, that's certainly going to help with morale. Morale should uh, get massively inc increased there. It's just focused on these last few units. To be careful of our general. We don't know him dying anytime soon. But they're still holding on this side. I mean, these Martel archers have done some really nice damage. I mean, look at them. They look awesome. Volley! What are they focusing down? They look like they're taking on some uh, Dondarrion archers. There you go. I mean, it looks like it's a full-on route now, really. There's barely any, uh, barely anything left that's going to stop this, and it's just uh, a lot of, just a lot of mopping, mopping up to do. And uh, I mean, yeah, it's a quick one, really. It's uh, not like I mean, the micro could be a lot better. I could have uh, also probably shown you a little bit more of the action as well. But I mean, it looks. I mean, what I've shown it looks awesome. It looks really, really fun. And that long, long, like, look at that, like, battlefield that's, like, just been left. How many of the men died? Oh, a good 2,000 for us, and they've lost over 4,000 at this point. See the houses. I mean, the Stormlands are going to defend their lands once more. Their women and children will no longer be raped and their villages pillaged. I don't know. Well, I don't know what happens in war. war. Well, that sort of thing does happen in war. But, uh... And certainly a lot in Game of Thrones. Certainly a lot in Game of Thrones. But we've still got some Martel Cavalry here. They're still going to do some damage. Seems like we can't have a... Yeah, but look at that. It's uh, going to come in for a charge. Or oh, a very poor charge. Look at that. That's a really slow charge. Only at the last moment did they actually decide. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be our charge. And there you go. It's a full-on route now. Nothing left. And victory is ours. So we'll end the battle... We'll have a look at the end result. A close victory indeed. Uh, certainly could have. At one point I thought we'd we'd lost it. Certainly when I saw a Dondarrion infantry breaking so early. Um, but yeah, so we'll have a look at some of the end results. Um, one of my archers getting 365 kills. That's really, really nice. Um, and then one of the Dondarrion ones getting uh, 256. Um, some of my Baratheon swords getting 162 kills, which is really nice. Um, the Dondarrion Swords, uh, not many of them did well. They seem to get like focused down first when going in, but I mean, they got 143 kills, 114 is not bad. The uh, Lance Cavalry getting 130 kills, 146 for the Baratheons. The uh, Dondarrion Cavalry getting 59, not so good. Uh, the House Guard for the Baratheons getting 230 kills, that's the Sword variant, and then the Spear variant getting 240, so even better than the Swords, which is kind of surprising. Then on the Dawn side, Oberyn Martell only getting a mere 11 kills. Um, but, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a small unit, so no surprise there. Uh, the Martell Arch is getting 209 kills. 346! Nice! Uh, and then these Axemen, I mean, not doing so great, but the, uh, like the Dane uh, Swords um, getting 117 kills, which is not too bad. Arthur Dane may be proud. He may expect more from his, uh, his banner men. Uh, and then the other Swords... I mean, 100, 100 kills dead, I think. There's nothing majorly good. Then the Yorimwood Spears um, getting not that many kills either. But then certainly like the Martel Lance Cavalry getting 197, doing really well there. And the uh, Ulla Cavalry doing okay. I think the Ulla Pikes in here, yeah, they didn't do so well either. Um, but it, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this quick Game of Thrones battle using the Seven Kingdoms mod, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.